Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, at your service to talk about a six element vertical collinear antenna made of folded dipoles. Now, here is an example of a vertical folded dipole antenna, a half a wavelength from end to end or from top to bottom, folded and made out of some kind of rigid metal tubing because it is a VHF or UHF antenna. Let's suppose just for a moment that this antenna is designed for a frequency of oh, the common repeater frequencies on the 2 meter amateur band, say about 147 megahertz. When you have an antenna like this that is uh, made out of copper tubing or something like that, bent into a configuration to make a folded dipole out of it, you will get a 300 ohm purely resistive impedance at the feed point. Well, that's not a very good match for 50 ohm coaxial cable, but hang on and I'll show you how you can make a good match out of six of these things connected in parallel. Well, I guess you can already guess pretty much how that might work. And you've probably seen some of these antennas installed in repeaters because they're excellent for that application of a vertical folded dipole for 147 megahertz is approximately one meter tall. So if you have, say, a, a tower maybe nine or ten meters high, you can space six of these very easily along that tower in a collinear configuration. Something like, well, I'm going to draw it for you as best I can on this screen, but you've doubtless seen antennas like this uh, employed by not only amateur radio repeaters, but repeaters in all kinds of applications. Here is your tower, and you'll find six of these things mounted just about like that. The reason I specify six of them is because if you connect them all together in a phased fashion so that they're all in the same phase, so that you have a phasing harness here with six sections of 300 ohm transmission line, each one equally long, you connect all six of them together in one parallel configuration. Then you connect a ballon to that. And it would, it would be a one-to-one -one ballon because you're going to get 300 ohms for each of these. Three hundred ohms in parallel six times gives you fifty ohms purely resistance here. A one to one ballon will transform that into something that you can have coax to the repeater. Now why would you want to make an antenna like this? Well, first of all, it's going to have gain. It's going to have significant gain. I'm not sure exactly how much. But if you have two of them, it's going to, to give you 3 dB of power gain. So if you have two of them three times, it's going to be 3 dB. Well, you can work that out. Six times, basically, it'd be the logarithm of six. Let's just, um, it's ten times the logarithm. Okay, six if you take the logarithm of that, I don't want the natural logarithm. I want the 7, 7 times 10, 7.7 7 or almost 7.8 dBD of gain. 
let's just say in the ideal case, 7 dBd. And it's going to focus that energy because it's a collinear array all in phase in the horizontal plane like that. So if you do an E-plane radiation pattern, you'd get very sharp horizontal lobes with 7.8 dBd of gain. And of course, in a repeater configuration where you want terrestrial stations to be able to communicate with one another, gain in the horizontal direction is precisely what you want. In the H-plane or horizontal plane directional pattern, you're going to get an omnidirectional uh, result so that it's going to radiate equally well in all horizontal directions and it's going to focus this energy to the tune of 7.8 dBd in that plane. This is theoretically the ideal case, of course. So that is a six-element collinear antenna designed for repeaters and uh, it's a pretty common configuration, as you'll find out if you do much repeater work. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, saying 73, and so long for now.